today I'm not going to be covering. You know why? Because I already said it everything yesterday. And then there is a recorded lecture. And usually I, I don't cover the lymph. Today we have lymph also. It's the same lecture that I I talked yesterday, and then there are only a few words, a few key things that I'm going to be adding to it today, right now. But like as far as the bulk of the lecture, and then all the differentials of the white blood cells are in the slides. It's so self-explanatory. Is that clear? OK, let me focus on the, the skin, hair, and nails. Today, by the way, we're starting the systems, right? So from now on, what are you going to do? You're going to be wearing your gowns. And then so like in the, during the lab, you're going to be assessing each other. Today's lab is not going to be very difficult because it's the skin. Like how much of a effort you can give to check the skin, the nail, and then the hair. It's going to be very simple. But like, but as we go along, it's not going to be simple. It's going to get complicated, all right? So today, don't get the false hope that you know the lab is going to be easy. The lab is going to be like more intense because you're going to be learning how to assess the systems. And then why is this important? Because every time you're assessing the system, you have to know the, the normal. Because when you go to the units, and then if you're assessing and you're finding something, you're going to be saying, this is abnormal. Why? Because I know the normal. Is this clear, guys? Mm -hmm. So for the reason, like all the focus is given, head to toe, system by system, like what is the normal finding when you're assessing the system? But when you go to the hospital, obviously, there are going to be systems in the patients that is not going to be working right. Why? Because for that reason, that patient is there. Does that make sense? And you can know the difference because you know the normal. Am I making sense, guys? All right, so. And then always the lab is going to be quick the slides because the slides is going to be showing like what are we going to be doing in the lab that day? Does that make sense? It's not going to be like intense lecture that is going to be like a lot of knowledge added. Obviously, there is going to be knowledge added, but it is going to be accompanied with the skill. Is that clear? Mm -hmm. So the lab is not like, you know, they are obviously you're going to learn something. Otherwise, why are we holding the lab, right? There is going to be addition of knowledge in the brain. And on top of it, like there is going to be synchronized with the skill set too. And then the slides are there to give a direction for, the, for you and for the teacher what to focus that day. And then the bulk of the lab session is going to be practice, 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 because the skill needs to be fine-tuned because only watching the demonstration is not going to be enough. Is that clear, guys? Do you feel better now? Are you less worried? No. No? no. no. <laughs> okay. So what is it bothering you now? That is like, I can make it more clear. What part of it? After all, yeah. I, mean, I don't know. I just, I just feel like I studied for like eight hours for this quiz and I didn't do well. And I don't, I don't know how to study, honestly. Oh. Okay, it gets better because this is also <laughs> I mean, you're totally in your, in, in your setup. This is the first the semester. I know like always, that since I'm the first teacher to teach 307 and 318, so like I kind of it gets a lot of it, you know, like, okay, is it me? Like, no, I mean, the thing is, there is gonna be a learning curve and you get used to the culture of the course. And then next week when you do the exam, because you have the study guide, it's gonna be a better reference. And I assure you, the test you do better. How do you approach, like at least for me, I feel like I'm under, like I'm learning the vocabulary and I'm learning like the flow of the systems, but when it's a scenario-based question, and it's going sometimes, to be scenario. yeah, I feel like sometimes there's more than one answer that could be right. And then it's hard to eliminate. Well, this answer is not wrong, but why is this answer? Yeah, there is than this one, one clue that is definitely indicative that has a connection to the question. Okay, so like, uh, yeah. So when you come during office hour, we can go over, and then so I can, can I can show you what determined to be the the right answer in the question specifically. Is there is that like a standard approach for? most questions yes okay. yes 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 most questions and then the questions have have been taken from the next gen NCLEX so in other words NCLEX is going to be the same questions I, I didn't write it you mm -hmm. know so it is from a, a next gen NCLEX text bank but I modify it so that like it's going to re reflect my lectures okay yeah I so, think that's probably what I I feel some of us are struggling with is 
you know, coming from different majors or I it's totally super, get it. Everything is totally. very like standard. Totally like, what is this? And yeah. then when you totally have a scenario, get it. Totally I think that's why it. we're probably feeling and, like And uh, this, this is only the third week. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, like everything has a learning curve. I mean, if I was the teacher and then I'm in another teacher's class, I'm going to, I need that three weeks, mm -hmm. four weeks for a learning curve just to test the water and then get acquainted to the culture of that atmosphere. Yeah. You are still, there is a learning <laughs> curve that is accompanying with the addish, adding knowledge of the course too. Does that make sense? Yeah. I know like, I, I know like uh, the grades matter. I'm not saying it grades are not important, but the time is important yeah. to overcome the initial barriers, mm -hmm. which is called the learning curve. Okay. Okay. So anything else? Yeah, I mean, the when you're during office hours, like I can get, get review the, the questions. I cannot review here because like then then there is not going to be time to do the lectures. There is no extra time. Does that make sense? But I'm available to go over and then teach the depth uh, individually. Do you think if we just like maybe for today, because I think we're all feeling like that, like no, it, no, no, not take a break for the no, time, no, okay. no, because like it's already nine o'clock, mm -hmm. and then I have I I I'm, you have I haven't even started started, okay. and I'm like boiling inside me too because like time management is my responsibility also. Okay, we'll okay. just come to yeah. office hours. But on the other hand, like I don't want to ignore your needs either mm -hmm. because like that's not gonna be. If you are you, if you feel that your not your need is not being answered, you're not going to be listening to me. It's very simple. Like the lecture is not going to be as pleasant. Am I making sense? Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, it, it goes both ways. I mean, I think uh, you're. I think I feel like you are lecturing really well. Like you take the time to draw things, to write yeah. things, and you explain it, and yeah. you have a very good attitude. I think it's just. It, you're right. It's just the, it's the learning the, curve. The, it's the learning curve. Yeah. It's the learning curve. I mean, it's only three weeks, and then you're coming from different majors. You're a new cohort. Just like you're testing the water. Yet. Yeah. Just like keeping pace for the first three weeks, it's a good thing. But you think you're doing good. So thank yeah. you, Professor, for yeah. taking Yeah, I mean, I, I really too. believe, I really believe that people have to be loved and feel belong for me, for them to hear me. Otherwise, they won't. I, I can be the best professor, the best degrees. People will say like, when is it? When is she gonna be ending the lecture? And then, and it's it's human. It's human. It's not unusual. I'm human like you. I I, I feel I feel with you. But like I I want to listen to your concerns so that if there is any quick fix, I'll do it. Yes, yesterday Francis came, she said, okay, I need like the process, how to solve these problems. And I saw Zane, and then Ras Adam, uh, I, you, I told him to do it. I can, I can make use of, of other resources. Please, you be my TA, you don't have to take permission. Come and be my TA. If you have any talent that you wanna share with the class, be my guest, like I encourage that. I want people to be aligned here and learn how to teach their peers also. I have no restriction, no restriction. And in, in, in reality, I would like to encourage because you, you can learn how to become public speakers too and then take the stage. Is that clear? You know, I'm all open. I'm here to help you grow in every aspect. Okay, guys. I just wanted to see, would be available after lab today for Yeah, I mean, yeah, so some, uh, I have, uh, yeah, I, for some time I can be. Okay. Yeah, okay. Thank you. All right. Okay, guys. Do you feel better now? Yes, uh, If we know everything, like if we understand everything in the study guide, is that good enough for? I think so. Yes, Annie. But like, do you have to understand the science behind it? Please do not study by heart. You know, like you know, a slide, a studying the slides by heart is only going to be helpful for certain questions, which is like direct application. So if I'm going to be saying, you know, one car portion is 15 gram, there is not nobody to dispute that. It's like black and white, right? Okay, so I mean, obviously, you're gonna be getting correct answer because it's the science, it's direct application, it's black and white, you're, you cannot make a mistake, we can dispute. Does that make sense? Believe it or not, a lot of the students are still, those questions, they don't do it right. I mean, how can I help more? 
Does that make sense? But like if the, there is gonna be scenarios and then in the scenario, always like in the class, I brought some headline that is gonna trigger thinking that, okay, she said this in the class, this is similar situation. The answer should be this. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. I mean, it's not gonna be all like obscure questions. Like somehow, somewhere, one corner of that question I discussed in the class, okay. and then you have to put it together. It's your responsibility to synthesize because like your bachelor's level now. In reality, in the eye of the university, you're graduate student because you have a bachelor's already. Mm -hmm. Is that clear? So synthesizing is anticipated from you. Okay. okay, all right, so just be patient. I mean, you know, I'm here to help, you know, so. All right, okay guys, do you feel better, everything good? Yeah. Okay, guys. All right, let's do this. All right, so the skin, what is the skin? It's an organ, guys. The skin is an organ, okay? It's the biggest organ of the body, and then so it's covering all, all, all our body. So, so the skin has like a lot of uh, uh, functions, obviously. So the skin, imagine that we don't have a skin. So what are, what's gonna happen? So if we don't have a skin, okay, so all the yesterday we learned it, like our atmosphere is not a sterile, so all these microbes are gonna be entering. In our system, so the skin is a good barrier. For that reason, you know, like even, for example, I have patients that they wanna have a hip surgery and then they're overweight and then their sugar is not under control, you know, so they come to my classes, they wanna lose some weight and then also bring their blood sugar under control because the surgeon is not gonna uh, cut and change the operation because if there is a cut now, like they put a whole new hip that is metal, all right, so then they're gonna uh, put the staples and then the staples are not gonna heal. What did we do? Yeah, okay, we put a new hip but like we open the incision that is gonna be open for infection. So which one do you want? All right, so a pain, I mean, obviously we don't have, we don't want the patient to have pain, but like we don't wanna open an incision line that is not gonna be healed either. So I might as well have a, like a back hip and then close the skin rather than new hip, but like my, my, my incision is not healing. Does that make sense? So for that reason, the, those surgeries are deferred because it's not emergency. Does that make sense? So because, okay, so that's that's how important it is the skin to be intact. All right, so, all right, so, uh, all right, what else, the, the other thing that is important for the skin is obviously we perspire through the skin. And then when we're perspiring through the skin, what happens? That the body temperature is regulated, all right? So during hot water, uh, hot, hot weather, there is the, uh, the sweat and then the sweat cools the, the skin so so that uh, that's how like the body temperature is regulated and then also sensory perception and then vitamin d what is the sensory perception i kind of explained it all right so we have the we, this 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 graph you're going to be seeing all the time feel the neural chapter so this is the brain and then this is the spinal cord this is the sensory this is the motor this is the motor this is the sensory so when uh, uh what is this how is the skin helping the sensory because like if I'm going to be touching this table and this table is hot the first organ of my body that is in touch with the surface is the skin does that make sense so the skin felt the the warmth of this table and then it took it to the brain and then the brain said you know if you keep your hand there for five minutes you're going to be having burn all right so remove it and then so then i removed it okay so like the the skin is the first <coughs> organ that connects us to the environment am i making sense so that's very important because like if this environment is hot so the skin feels the weather that is hot and then so it goes to the brain and then what is the brain going to tell remove your jacket and then so you remove your jacket is that clear okay so and then also with the skin so it will there has to be like vitamin, uh, vitamin D to be activated. So the skin has to feel the sunshine so it can go in so that the vitamin D can be activated. Is that clear? All right, so now, all right, so uh, yeah, and then, uh, we said this, okay. And then also the skin, if somebody's like, you're excited, scared, you know, like you're, you're, you're excited and then you blush, Okay, so the, it shows also emotions, all right? So now these are the skin layers, all right? So we have, to, we have to know this. It is important that we know this. So the epidermis, so this is the epidermis, that's the 
top layer, and it's a little bit of a coarse, coarse layer, all right? Why? Because it's kind of in touch with the environment. It's a little bit coarser than the dermis. Dermis is like more, more <coughs> like softer. All right, so the epidermis, then the dermis, then the hypodermis, then the appendages. Okay, so now, with the epidermis is the top layer, the dermis is the next layer. Epiderm and then the hypodermis, what is the other word for hypodermis? Endodermis. Huh? Subcutaneous. Subcutaneous tissue. Oh. Oh. Okay. All right, so the ep epidermis is outer part of the skin, avascular, so there is no blood vessels. But and then, so who's going to give food to the epidermis? The neighbor. Who's the neighbor? The dermis. Dermis is the neighbor downstairs, so like it, uh, it feeds the, it gives food to the epidermis, which is the neighbor upstairs, right? So then, this is uh, important why these are like two major layers, a stratum uh, corneum and cellular stratum. So these are the two layers of the epidermis. All right, so, um, and then, so these are the two layers, and then, so then we have, uh, be, be, there is like one small layer, you don't need to know this, basement membrane, and then so after that, you're gonna be having the dermis. So the dermis is like more important. Why it is more important? Because the, there is vessels, blood vessels in there, and then the other thing that there is in the dermis are the nerve endings. So anything that we're feeling, if it's hot, it's cold, it's pricked, how do we know? Because of the dermis. Dermis is the nerve cells that, that they're transporting, the, they're transporting the uh, messages to the brain, all right? So that's, and then the other thing that the dermis has is elastin, collagen, and reticulum fibers. What is elastin and collagen? Elastin and collagen, what does it do to the skin? Yeah, it is like a stretched, stretched, all right? So it's more stretched. So what happens as we're aging? So the, yeah, the collagen and elastin, they're diminishing. And so for that reason, we can have wrinkles. So for that reason, when people are gonna go for aesthetic treatment, so what is it, they, what are they injecting? They're injecting collagen or uh, uh, elastin. So for that reason, you see now like this, the, the wrinkles, are stretched. A lot of time, it's stretched so bad that, you know, the, the, the face changes. Like, have you seen those also? Like, uh, I think there is too much injection. Yeah, that the person that appears a different person, right? Okay. So, so, so that's like the moral of the story. So elastin and collagen will give, will help with the skin turgor. What is the skin turgor? Is that, you know, like when you're pinching and you let it go, it's elastic. So the skin turgor is elastic. When you say that the skin turgor is elastic, what does that mean? You pinch and then you let it go and then it goes back to its normal state, all right? So, but like if somebody has wrinkles or a grandmother like or, or has wrinkles, so when you're kind of uh, pinching, but when you let go, like it's a little bit folds, right? So that it means that the skin is not elastic. It's good, there are wrinkles. These are like terminology you're gonna be writing when you're doing your assessment in the real world in clinical setting. Okay, so we already said this is the sensory nerve fibers and then autonomic motor uh, nerve, inner vein, blood vessels, glands, and muscles. So, so this is much about dermis. All right, so now appendages. What are appendages? Appendages are other structures. So what are these other structures? Hair is appendage, nail is appendage, and then glands are appendages. Is that clear, guys? All right, so now, so if you're looking here, appendages, appendages are sweat glands, all right, so, and then also hair, and then nail, nail, okay. So these are the appendages. So in the dermis, so what are the appendages? Sweat glands, <coughs> sebaceous gland, hair follicle, hair root, is that clear? So what is appendage? Another structure that is inner, it, that is coming out, branching out of one of the layers. Am I making sense? So from the dermis, which is my second layer of the skin, what are the structures that are generated, coming into life? The glands and the hair. Is this clear? 
They're not another layer. They're embedded within the dermis. Am I making sense, guys? Got it. So in the dermis, so what do we have? We have the glands and the hair. Okay. So. So. Wait, I have a question. Mm -hmm. So on a previous slide, you have skin layers with epidermis, dermis, hypodermis, and then appendages. Yes. This, why is that a second, a different layer? Isn't it in the dermis? Which one? So look at this slide. Hypodermis is what we... You have these as different layers and uh -huh. you have appendages as a separate layer. Okay. But the video or this one shows so it's in the same... It's, it's, uh, yeah, it's, it, appendages, it's another layer probably, but like it's embedded within dermis. Okay. All right. And the nail, it's an appendage, but it doesn't come out of the dermis. It comes out of the epidermis. Okay, all right, if, it's, if it needs to be clearer, I'll, I have to fix it because if you, in your eyes, if it shows appendages to another layer, that's like, that was the publisher's slide. You know, I can fix that. All right, so in other words, okay, so what do we have? We have the epidermis, dermis, and the subcutaneous tissue as layers, all right? So out of the dermis, what are the structures that are coming out? The hair. The, the hair and glands. glands. Out of the dermis, what the structure comes out? Nails. Nails. Is that clear? Okay. Okay, so there is the epidermis, there is the dermis, and then the hypodermis. The hypodermis is the subcutaneous tissue. All right, so appendages are structures, but they are like structures themselves, but where do they come from? They are innervated, they're branching out, either from the dermis or epidermis. Am I making sense? Mm -hmm. So out of epidermis, what structure, what appendage comes out? Nails. Nails. Hair? Nail, epidermis. Nail. Oh. Epidermis is nail. Out of dermis, what structures innervate? Gland. Nail, a uh, hair, and gland. Is that clear? Are we good now? Dermis is gland and hair. Say it again. Dermis is gland, gland and hair. And hair. Epidermis is nail. And then hypodermis is the same as subcutaneous tissue. It's a layer. Is that clear, guys? Mm -hmm. All right. What are appendages? As other structures, but they are entity themselves, but like they're not another layer, but they're coming out, innervating from an existent layer of either epidermis or dermis. Is this clear? Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. John, is this clear? Is it clear? Okay, all right, now, the appendages, so what is the appendages? It's a structure, it's a layer itself in the, in the eye of the anatomy, it looks like. So in the appendages, what do we have? Glands, 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 hair, where are they? Dermis. 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 Nail? Epidermis. Okay, very good. So now the, the, the appendages, it's like a unit itself, but like they're kind of innervating from uh, either epidermis or dermis. Okay. Eccrine glands, apocrine glands, sebaceous glands. So they are all in the, in where? Dermis. Dermis. Very good. So eccrine gland is superficial. It's just like very close to the, um, to, to the upper la layer. And so when we're sweating, it is kind of producing this water all over the body, all right? So it's mainly water, water that is coming out. Why? To cool the skin if the weather is hot. Is that clear, guys? Mm -hmm. All right, and then when the water comes out, okay, when the water comes out, I'm gonna give you a small break now, okay? So it's nine o'clock. <laughs> So only 10 minutes, guys, okay? Because like I saw people are taking break. <coughs> okay. I had I had to be